Hi guys, Frugal Gal here. This is the second video in the $20 flip and thrift challenge. So if you remember last time after I had um, brought some items to flip, uh, we had $13.50 left. Well, I went today, I went back to actual Goodwill and I found another thrift store. Sorry, I didn't take you with me. I wasn't planning on going. Um, I was in another town and so I found another thrift store and what I picked up there was this mug, this cup, and why I picked it up is I recognize the name on the bottom of it. Now, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. I'm sorry if I butcher this in the pronunciation. Um, Otagiri, and it's made in Japan. And I recognize this from the from back when I first started reselling. I was watching a lot of um, YouTube videos on things that people resold, and they said to, if you see these cups to pick them up, they go, they resell for a high value. I didn't find this specific cup when I did the comp in the store, looking it up, but I did find other ones with duck, and they're going anywhere from $10 to $25. So I only paid 50 cents for it. So I found that at, at that um, new thrift store. Then I went ahead and went back to Goodwill and red tag was still their, co their color for uh, this week. And I thought they did the color of the day, but mine does it for the color of the week. So uh, I found these glasses and they are Bacardi uh, Lyman, not lemon. That, that cannot be lemon because lemon's spelled different, right? Maybe they say it lemon, I don't know. But I looked these up while I was in the store. They've got like little lemons on them and martini glasses. Um, I looked these up while I was in the store and they're going anywhere from, for two of them, $10 to $20. So um, in another video, I'll, I'll tell you what I list everything for. So I got two of these and they were regular 50 cents. Uh, remember red tag is half off. So I paid a quarter each. So 50 more cents was spent just on those. And then, you know, the jewelry girl. The, I had to find some jewelry, right? To put in with this challenge. You didn't think I'd disappoint, did you? So I found some jewelry. I went over to the case and found everything with red tags. Like I said, 50% off. So um, I got some rings and I got a brooch. So let's let's look at the jewelry. Let's move you forward and look at the jewelry. So um, I found these rings. They're the same style of rings. They were both marked $3. So they were $1.50 a piece. So $3 total. Um, they're just some silver tone rings in really good shape. They are magnetic. So it's not sterling silver or anything. Um, I hope my lighting's okay. Hold on a second. There we go. And then they have these little like plastic pieces, I guess, on them. Um, one's black, one's white. They'd be a good stackable ring. Let's see what sizes they are. This one is a five and a half. And I think this one's probably the same. Yeah, this one's a five and a half also. So we spent $3 for those two rings. And then, or well, I say we like you're shopping with me, but you did. This one's $6, this nice cocktail ring. And this is, I think, just plastic, but it is really cold. It's a it's a really pretty, you can't, it's not coming off quite there. It's real pretty green, and then these rhinestones along here. It's gold tone. Now, I don't see any markings on this, but I haven't looked at it with my loop really well because I just got home. But it is not magnetic, so I will check that out. It was regular $6. I only paid 3 And then I got this little ring. I thought it was pretty. Well, let's check the size of this. Let's go back and check the size of this. I bet it's about a size 7. Yep, I was about right. It's about a size 7.5. And then we got this little ring. It's gold tone. It is an Avon ring. It's marked Avon on the inside. It was regular six. I only paid three. It's got some black enamel on it. Really good shape. No wear on any of these rings, guys. This is a size nine. Okay, so good good variety of sizes here. Then, um, so I paid $3 for that. Then this little, just, this little brooch is just really pretty. I like these kind of brooches. And it's silver tone on the back. And then it's a safety clasp. And the uh, stick pin part goes over the safety class, which, which I think means that it's older. It wasn't marked, but their normal prices on brooches are $2. And so it was half price, so I only paid a dollar for it. So all today, you see that I have $3, um, $6 there. So it's not, $10 here. And then um, ten fifty. And then 50 more cents is 11. So I spent, so I, we spent 11 more of our dollars out of that $20 for the $20 challenge. So we, we had 13.50 left out of the 20 from my previous video. We spent $11 of it. So we have $2.50 left now. So I just wanted to update you. I will, the next videos will be me showing you 
um, what I list some of this stuff for, but I still got three more. I still got two dollars and fifty cents more to spend, so I'll have to spend that two dollars and fifty cents. So this is just a little short video to show you how I'm spending that twenty dollars for that twenty dollar thrift and flip challenge to see how much money I can make profit out of just spending twenty dollars. So thanks, guys, and give me a thumbs up. Bye.